welcome back to my channel and another installment of monthly favourites. It's time to look over September and see some of the bits and bobs that I've been loving over the month. So if you want to check them out, just keep watching. So my first favourite for the month of September is an oldie but a goodie. Um, I probably featured this before back in the day, but this is the original Naked palette. I use this in my autumn makeup look, which I'll link down below, shameless plug. But um, I just fell back in love with it. I pulled it out specifically for the shade Half Baked, which is like the gold shade in the middle. I think this is just the most flattering gold colour and um, it works on every eye colour. And um, I've just really been using this more or less exclusively for this month pretty much. Well, maybe like the three quarters of the month. But um, there's just such a great range of colours. I love Urban Decay shadows. They're super pigmented and they blend really nicely. There is fallout, but... I'll get over that, it's fine. And um, yeah, it's just the shades kind of suit every mood. And if you want to do a super dark look or a super simple look, you're covered in this. And may I add as well, I think Virgin is the prettiest uh, brow highlight. Well, one of the prettiest brow highlights anyway. It's like, um, I would call it a satin. It's not really a shimmer colour, but um, I just think it really kind of makes your brow bone pop and I love using it. I have it on today. Well, I have the whole palette on today and um, yeah, this has just been the palette I've been reaching for this month so I had to include it. My next favourite is something I picked up for four euro in pennies a few weeks ago and it's um, a makeup palette. It has a spatula as well but I don't really reach for that. But um, I've never had one of these before. I'm not a makeup artist obviously but um, I think it's super handy to have to kind of mix foundations and concoctions on whatever you want and um, it was only four euro these like you don't really find these in many kind of general shops should have to go online or go to specific makeup um professional makeup shops but pennies or primark are stocking these for four euro and um yeah there's not more to say about it i love that it's, um aluminium so it's um wipe clean so it's sanitary and um has a little hole in it so you can hold it as you're doing your makeup and I feel like an artist holding this, so yeah, I love it. And I will stop doing this because I'm gonna blind you. But yeah, it's four euro. What more can I say? My next makeup favorite is a new release for the month of September. It is the Sleek Highlight Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss, and it looks a bit like this. Now, this is my favorite in particular for this goldy shade up here. Um, I do like the other shades, but this particularly floats my boat. I have a whole blog post on this, so I'll link it down below if you want to see swatches and stuff. But this was just released um, this month. I went to the launch of it and I was kindly gifted it. And I just love it. If you like, I'm just going to grab it here. Ooh. If you like the Solstice palette, which is this one here from Sleek, you'll, um, you'll really like this. It comes with two cream shades and two powder shades. But as I said, this shade in particular is the one that floats my boat. I have it on my um, my inner tear duct and my cheekbone today. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. But it's, um, it's a really pretty shimmery gold shade that doesn't really have much sparkle to it. It's just more shine and shimmer. And I really like it. Um, this is super affordable. I think it's about 12 quid. So yeah, love this. Well, my next favourite is something for the lips. It's the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. And um, this is in the colour Red Berry. Although it has a really, really subtle colour. So that doesn't really matter particularly. But um, I'm a big fan of lip oils. I just more or less ran out of my Essence Prettifying Lip Oil. And then I went to um, a Clarins Masterclass. And we got this in the goodie bag. Sorry, there's a hair on me there. And um, I've been using it ever since. It smells like sweeties. I love the smell of it. Um, it's not sticky or anything like that on the lips. It gives a hint of colour but nothing too crazy. Like I wear this going to bed every night as well. But um, I just really, really like it. It's super hydrating. It feels really nice and hydrating on the lips. And um, it feels like a tree. So um, obviously these aren't being Clarence. They're not um, very cheap but... It'll last you a while and um, I just really, really like it so I wanted to add it in. 
My next favourite is something for pampering the skin. It's um, sheet masks. Now I have a couple here from Garnier that are super affordable and you can like pick up in pennies and whatever and I really really like them for a quick fix. But um, I particularly like the Asian sheet masks. You can buy these online um, reasonably cheap. Like you can buy them on eBay or Amazon. But I got sent these from a Irish distribution company that I'm going to read because I can't remember what they're called. They're called uh, National Balance Global and they basically distribute these throughout Ireland. But um, I'm not going to open them because I don't want to waste one. But this one has a face on it like that. Like I used one that um, made me look like an otter, which was pretty awesome. They're just, they feel nice on the skin. They're not too messy and um, they kind of make you sit down and relax because you can't do much with the sheet mask on. So it kind of um, pushes you to kind of sit down and just enjoy having the mask on. And the, um, the moisture that's left over, like I always leave it on and like massage it into my skin. And my skin always feels super awesome and plump after using one. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to add these in because I've been really, really liking them and I'm definitely going to be stocking up and always having a few in my collection because I love them. My next favourite is a fragrance and it's pretty new to me, but I've been wearing it kind of consistently throughout the month of September. So I wanted to add it in and um, it's the Stella McCartney Pop. Um, this is, I love the original Stella McCartney. Actually, I think I featured it in another favourites a while back. But um, I'm a big fan and I, I like the way she does. She does kind of sweet smells, but in a more grown up manner. And this is a very good example of that. Like it smells like sweet yeast. And to me, it smells like summer. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm missing summer and I'm missing the, the brighter nights and the brighter mornings. And this kind of scent just makes me happy. I'm not very good at describing fragrance, so I'm not gonna destroy your ears trying to, but my description of it would be, um, it's sophisticated sweet and it lasts a really long time on the skin and yeah, I've just been really, really liking it. It's reminding me of the summer that's been and gone now. It's now officially autumn. So my last favourite is of the fashion variety and it's something I hauled. I can't remember if it was at the start of September or August, but I did a video about it anyway and it's this little number from Zara. And this is the bag basically that I've worn throughout the whole month. So I thought it was appropriate to add it into my favourites. So this is like a mustard faux crocodile skin. Teeny tiny little handbag that doesn't fit a lot. But I'm a bit of a, I'm a, bit of a child when it comes to carrying bags. So this is kind of good for me. And it means I don't really overfill it as well because... I can tend to kind of fill up bags and then they become very heavy. I'm my mother's daughter because she does that as well. Um, there's no pocket in this, which is really annoying because everything just kind of floats around in the one compartment. That's one thing I don't like about it. Don't mind the tampon in there. Um, but I just really, really like this bag. It's super cute and um, everybody compliments me on it. And... Yeah, I just love it and it wasn't super expensive. I think it was about 30 quid. So if you're in Zara and you want to pick it up, it's not very expensive. I wear a crossbody. Um, I suppose you can wear it one shoulder, but it is quite long. It fits me nicely crossbody. And yeah, I just love it. So yeah, I had to add it in. So that's my September favourites done and dusted. I can't actually believe I'm saying that. It's officially October, which means it's nearly Halloween which means it's nearly Christmas. I'm more excited about Christmas than Halloween, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, that's all I have to show really. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, it means a lot. As always, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye bye.